Cup holders West Bromwich Albion kicked off and went into the attack in their fiercely contested fifth round tie against Arsenal at the Hawthorns. It was the London team's second visit to West Brom this season. They'd been beaten on the first occasion and the striped shirted 11 were out to make it a double victory. Arsenal, however, played some pretty useful football to show they hadn't got this far in the competition for nothing. But during the first half of the keenly matched game, it was a case of alternate attack and strong defence with excellent goalkeeping. Albion were the more aggressive and composed side showing great determination. Wilson was in great form. At half-time, there was no score in a match that had already been postponed. On the resumption, both teams strongly showed a do-or-die spirit. But it was Albion who were getting most of the ball and pressuring the Gunners. They undoubtedly had the upper hand. Albion made use of every inch of the turf in their effort to score, but they couldn't get through. Still, it seemed they had a good scoring chance when they won a free kick. The Londoners built a strong wall across their goal, but they needn't have worried. Bob Wilson was in great form. Then, in the 67th minute, Tony Brown sent in an unstoppable power drive to give Albion victory. Albion now face Chelsea in the next round. Should be quite a match.